What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back, and for the final time today, we are going to be seeing the opening to Black Desert Online. And it is time to start the character I've been waiting to start the most, but I decided to do it last. So, it's time for Dark Night Time. So I'm super excited about this. We are going to be doing Siri because we got to stick with the Witcher theme a little bit. We've gone a little bit away from the Witcher theme, but now it's time to get back to the Witcher the Witcher theme. So that hair is actually kind of good. Actually, <laughs> that hair actually fits really well. Let's see. Okay, so we have this hair right now, right? Okay, so. Okay, that's not it. That that ain't it, Chief. Um, that one's not bad. Is this a new hairstyle, or did I just miss this all my time? That is a wild haircut. I think if I shorten... Hold on, can I zoom out? I think if I shorten this, this would be the proper hair right there. I really want to use this hairstyle on someone, on one of my characters. I just haven't gotten to use it yet. I think it's this. I think it's this. I think this is the best Siri. I mean, I have a picture on here. Hold on. I have the picture I used for the actual thumbnail. Let me go find it. Okay. I mean... Hold on. Okay, phone, stop it. I keep zooming in my phone. Okay, so here's the thumbnail that we used. Okay, there's the thumbnail. Is it that one? Can I, hello? Or is it like that one? I think it's this one, right? Yeah, this one's too, like, raised. It's, it's got to be this one. It's got it's got to be this one. It's a little more curly. This curl fits it. But it's got to be this. It's got to be this. There's no other choice. It's got to be. It's got to be that one. And Siri's hair is a little bit shorter. So we got to shrink this bad boy up just a little bit. I think the 85 works good. Yeah, I like that. Okay, that works. Now we just need it to be a little bit wider. Yeah, like right, like right there. Perfect. Perfect. Only I don't want... I want it to be like... Um, oops. Ch -ch color. Let's go with that color. Yeah, let's go with that. There we go. That's I like that right there. Okay. So hair done. Face. I need... I need the scar. It's on her it's on her cheek, but this picture doesn't give me the greatest view of that cheek. Hold on, let me go let me go on Google and look up Siri. I don't I don't know. We might not have the the scar because I'm not quite sure about putting scars on. Okay, so it's like right here on her eye and it runs down. It's all it's actually over here. If you do it right, it's on the left side. So it runs down. But... Uh... Is there even a way to put scars? What color are our series eyes? I don't even know that. Doesn't really help that I'm colorblind. I think they're a darker color. Like, I think that's fine. Like, I don't think... It's weird. Like, I don't think... It's so weird that you can put those tattoos on. I don't know if I even, like... I think I prefer that one more. Um, I can't even, like, put the scar that I want on it. I think I'm just going to leave it for now Let's see body shape okay it shouldn't need to be a giant okay 60 not gonna met it mess with that not gonna mess with the pose either voice 
Siri's voice is actually... It's not the highest voice for girls. Actually, okay with that. Okay. Thirst for knowledge. Brave, concerning. Well, collaborative, hot-blooded. Might be Hammer. Dreamer, ambitious, swift, and observer. Gentle, eh. Eh. Sit, no. Well. No. Honorable, faithful, opt dedicated, trusted. It's either elephant or hammer. I'm going to go with hammer. Brave, conservative, righteous, collaborative, hot-blooded. Okay, I think... Oh, crap. Almost, I almost backed out of that. Okay, so now... Uh, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna name this. Let's see. Is the... Well, I don't want to name it Witcher because I have my stupid family name is Witcher. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, I can't fit Cirilla, Fiona, Ellen, Rhiannon, but... Mm. Uh, uh, is this going to fit? Fit? It fits. Because they... See, this is, this is always the hard part. Because you, you got to get the name right. Because you're stuck with the name pretty much forever. Um, let's see. I'm going to go and look at the wiki. Because I forget all of her nicknames. There's all the, she has like five million nicknames. Yeah, see, Lion Cub of Sintra. Like I would never want. Yeah, I love. Ashen One is not, or Swallow's not her nickname. Lady of Space and Time. Like none of that fits. It's got to be either Zerio or or Ashen One. So Ashen One fits. I kind of like. I kind of like Zerio. Well, hold on. Does this fit? It does fit. And it's not taken, I don't think. Do I want Zeriel or Ashen One? I'm going to go with Ashen One. I don't think it's taken. It's not taken. Okay. That works. We'll take it. I far prefer Cirilla to, 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 to Siri, even though I, I like love Siri from the games, but... I definitely far prefer Cir Cirilla. I, I don't know. I just, I really like that name. I actually, so I still, I don't have a my own house, so I can't have the dog I want right now. But I want to get, I want to get um, a white dog and name it Cirilla. That's what I'm going to do when I, when I finally can get my own dog. There's a couple of different dogs that I'm thinking of getting. I haven't quite decided what dog I want just yet. I mean, you're a little bit limited with white dogs that you can get, but there, there's, there's a, there's a few that I have my eyes on. Not quite sure. I have a little bit of time before I'll have to actually get that dog. Who knows? I, by the time I get it, I might not even want to name it Cirilla anymore. <laughs> I'll name it Cirilla, and then it'll be Siri for short. Name it after. I would say probably Siri is my favorite video game character. I'm trying to think. Probably. Maybe Artorius is my favorite. Artorius might be my favorite. The combo of Artorius and Sif is probably my favorite. But Siri is right up there. I'll let this play again. Are you awake? These are the memories of the forgotten world. Sorry, but you should have known better. 
All right, so here we go. I love the giant sword, and I think it, like, this character just fits Siri so well because it's, um, it's only got one weapon. And, like, Geralt, you know, he's got the two twin blades, but Siri only had her one sword. Oh my gosh, this is... Let's see, what's my bat? Oh, okay. Darkness Burst is right trigger. Ravage Rake is RT and RB. Kind of a kind of a sweep attack. Let's see. Ooh. Okay. Oh, that ups your attack, so I guess I can't do it. Can I not do it again? Ooh. Left trigger forward gives you smoky haze. I want to try next. So, okay, so Darkness Burst is just how that goes. It's not going to be any different. Um, what's up my dodge side to side? Okay, that's not bad. It's a double hit, which is nice. If you want it to be a... Oh, I guess if you want it to be a double hit, it's a double hit. That's nice. Okay, so... Let's see here. First of all, first of all, because... This is the whole reason I bought it. Where is it? Can't even find the pearl shop. Got 3,500 left, which means... Which means you know what time it is. This outfit's not bad. It actually looks like something out of The Witcher, but... Outfits. Rosa Cassius. This thing just looks so nice. This... This armor set. So I'm picking it up. I have 600 pearls left. But we can put this on now. Put it on. There we go. We're all decked out as our Dark Knight. It's the whole reason. Okay, so we should probably get in this. I can test all of that different stuff in a second, but we can check out our skills real quick. See if I missed anything cool. So Dark Shadow. It boosts our defensive points for 12 seconds. Not bad. Spirit, spirit satiate, Satiation. HP recovery plus 10 upon using the skill. Okay. Um, Smoky Haze is that dash attack forward. Unveiled Dagger. Man, that just... That's a nice attack right there. I like that much more than a kick. Airstrike. Ooh. Okay. Ravage Rake. We already took a look at that. Um... We don't have this yet, but enforcement is back in rank trigger. Wheel, uh, Wheel of Fortune is the attack that... Um, it's like one of the main attacks for this character is Wheel of Fortune. But you gotta be level 26 to unlock that. But that's... I know that's one of the main things that... Um, that uh, you use on this character. So, one thing that... Um, the lawn is going to be more of a, that's the character, we're going to get stuff on that character. This character, I'm going to transfer stuff from my main account, I don't really care. Um, this is going to be played like how the sorceress was played. So, I gotta actually talk to the Black Spirit first. Okay, so you seem better, are you okay? I'm starting to wonder whether I had chosen the right host. What's with that look? Don't tell me you don't remember me. You promised you would. Well... That won't be that much of a problem anyways. Your memories will return soon enough. Hee hee hee. There's someone waiting for you over there. I'm going to hide now. Go and talk to that person. Don't worry. You're the only one who can see me. I know who's at my door. It should be UPS. So I'm not going to... Yeah, it's UPS. I can hear the truck driving away. I see that you're finally awake. I am Eden, the Explorer. I found you out cold over there and brought you here. What's that? How do I know who you are? Well, this is awkward. A traveler who does not remember anything. You look lost and confused. You're in Belenos, near the ancient stone chamber. To be precise, I don't know what happened, but you're safe here. Uh, I thought you were an adventurer or a mercenary. I knew you weren't a farmer, because you weren't dressed like one. I would like to help you recover your memories, but I'm swamped with work at the excavation site. I'll be on my way. Hmm? The stone chamber? You seem quite interested in it. Uh, why don't you examine the ancient artifacts that were discovered there? All right. 
can't believe I can't believe I'm doing this for the third time or the fourth time today. <laughs> this is supposed to be a heart, the heart of ancient giants that beats continuously. This heart of ancient giant, I don't know since when it was beating like this. The only thing certain is that the heart emits great power. I am scared of this heart that never stops beating. Its body as a whole is in ruins. Why? Do you think it's a bad idea to wake it up? A uh, wake up it up? Wake up it up? <laughs> Eventually someone else fight. The smaller defense weapons will wake up from their slumber in the evening. It'll look directly at us. The world is full of secrets. It sometimes feels as if a fog is hiding our view. All right. Turn this into Jaret. Hmm, you must be looking for Eden. I thought you said you were go going to the stone chamber. What are you waiting for? If you're with Eden, get moving and help with the excavation. We were the ones who discovered what you just saw. I'm sure Jordine will be satisfied with our work. Hmm? Seems like you're not that interested in, in excavation work. If so, you can go find out more about the gray foxes and tell the tell the our soldiers in front of the stone chamber. Tell our soldiers in front of the stone chamber. They keep stealing the belonging of our workers. Such a nuisance. Where is the stone chamber? Why did Eden even send someone like this? Just walk straight down the road and you'll see the ancient stone, right? You can defeat foxes, right? Okay. So, one thing I gotta do. I gotta deselect that from there and select that over there. Alright, time to fight the foxes. Oh, these attacks don't actually do as much as I thought they would do. They look like super bulky, tanky attacks, but... Come here. Let me try. Ooh, yes, there we go. That B attack is nice. Dang it, I keep leveling up. It keeps interrupting my, my attempts to do the, the attacks. Okay, I completed that. Why is there just a mature tree spirit over here? I got experience off of just hitting him? What the? Okay. Hey, that got my mature tree spirits to A. I'll take it. Okay, Grave Robber in the Forest completed. He he he, now we know about the Grave Foxes. We we can see how much health they have left. Oh, thanks, good. Warm up. He he he, it'll be easier for you to defeat them now. Don't you want to have more fun before heading to the Stone Chamber? Why don't you defeat some more Grave Foxes? Remember, you used to be stronger before. Yeah, the, the, this is gonna be, I don't know. I don't know, I can't quite tell if I like this more than than lawn. Those lawn combos just look so clean. I do like the darkness effect on your attacks with this character. That's one thing I do really like. I like how when you do the back, well, I guess it's a it's a cooldown skill, but when you do that back attack, the slanted balance, it um, it does a little bit. Of, it does a vertical slash instead of a horizontal slash. Do you think we can trust Ethan? All right. Thank you for taking care of the troublesome foxes who kept stealing the workers' belongings. But who are you again? Are you one of Jurette's mercenaries? Explorers. Ah, you mean Eden and those people he brought. You'll find them inside the cave. The cave is right here. I don't understand why they're so dedicated. From my understanding, that profession does not pay well. Not all about money, my dude. Man, I I really like all of these new characters. It's kind of crazy. I thought I would maybe like two. I thought I might like this one and Musa, and I didn't think I'd like Alon because of how it. I saw like gameplay of how it plays, and I was like, eh, probably not gonna like this all that much. But I do actually like it a fair amount. So actually, it's probably my favorite right now. Dark Knight can easily take it over once I get Wheel of Fortune because I think I think that's gonna be one 
better. I think it's gonna I think it's gonna make this character a lot more fun. Hello, Cirilla. What brings you here? It seems like you've you're fully recovered now. Did Princess Jurette send you here? Well I had no idea it was this urgent. Did the Grand Chamberlain Jordine say that? Hmm. I understand. We'll do our best to pick things up. I think you should leave now. Uh excavations are always dangerous. Wait, are you already planning to go back? We're not done here yet. Let's take a better look at this mysterious ruins. Do you feel that? The artifact is trying to pull us closer. It feels like it's from ancient times, but somehow it feels very familiar. All right, so let's interact with this for the fourth time today. The energy emanating from this artifact and that of the Black Spirit feel very similar. Cutscene time. <laughs> Excuse me. I could not hit that mute button in time. Aiden, look at this. Was not happening. There's something wrong with the artifact. Is it because of this traveler here? You are infected, possessed with dark energy. All right, Eden. Are you feeling better now? Thank goodness. I was worried that I might have been too late. Looks like the Black Spirit has found a new companion. Have you experienced any hallucinations lately? According to the excavation team, there is a high possibility that these artifacts contain black energy. I heard that even the Chief of the Imps, Red Nose, stole one of the artifacts from this place before. It's true that those with the, bl the, 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 with the Black Spirit gain immense strength and an extraordinary sense of awareness, but unfortunately, most of them succumb to the darkness and lose their sanity. I am certain that Red Nose has changed both physically and mentally. This will also be your fate if you choose to continue your journey with the Black Spirit. That is why you must train yourself not to be completely consumed by the Black Spirit. If you head south from the Stone Chamber, you'll come across the Western Guard Camp. You can find Captain Cliff there. Oh, and on your way, why don't you try defeating the Gray Wolves and Tree Spirits? They are one of the Western Guard Camp's many problems. If you do, you might be able to accompany the Captain to see Red Nose. Remember, my friend, my name is Eden. It must be okay, so I'm going to call the episode here, and we're going to get a little bit farther advanced on this character. I'll do it off um, recording. Like I said, this character is going to be a lot like the Sorceress. It's going to be the everyday, almost everyday video. And um, we're going to progress it fighting bosses and, 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 and the like. Um, so that's going to be how this is going to go. Lon will be the, we record literally almost everything we do, like the Witches playthrough. And that won't be a full everyday experience, um, especially since we still have the witch going on. Once the witch is done, it might become every day. I don't know. But I want to get this and Sorceress to end game so that I can get them to, you know, 56, 57, somewhere around there. Some I need to get them up to the higher levels. And so um, since they're going to be my two main characters, I want to get them high enough level that when awakening happens, I can awaken them. So that's going to do it for this video, though, guys. I'll probably show a little bit more on this character than I did on my Sorceress. The Sorceress was really a heavy I want to try to get to the end of the story type character so I wasn't I, I was just showing the bosses I was like let me power this boss you know let me power this to the boss so then I can record again type of stuff so I'll probably do it a little bit different on this character but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed drop it a big old like if you did subscribe if you have not and I'll get you guys in my next video peace